At the Digital New Fronts, it's really about understanding what that programming slate is on behalf of these publishers, what the publishers are trying to um, you know, essentially push within the space and what kind of programming they're going into. It's really more of a collaborative process. The Digital New Fronts started back in 2008 as a response to the rising spend in digital video advertising. We had the TV upfronts, they had been around for a very long time. Um, however, we saw that there was a burgeoning market for um, digital content and digital advertising that wasn't really being um, sourced in the proper way. And when we started it in 2008, um, what it was really was about was just bringing like-minded individuals from advertisers, marketers, uh, and brands together to understand what was going on in the digital space. And so in 2012, we had Google YouTube, YouTube, Hulu, Microsoft, AOL, and Yahoo join. Now we have over a dozen uh, different uh, partners that range from traditional stakeholder video companies like Hulu and YouTube to Condé Nast, Vice, New York Times, etc. So in 2012, we really brought together sort of the, the biggest and best in tech and in platform video at the time. We realized that we needed a partner to be able to uh, not only sustain what we've built, but to grow. And so in 2013, we worked with the IAB to make it even bigger and to expand the amount of partners that we had and to get a group to continue the credibility and evolution of, uh, of the new fronts. So here's how one of these deals works. You can buy yourself into an integration of of a particular program. Uh, and so an advertiser and agency would work with the publisher to understand what are the points of integration, how many views are you getting, how much pre-roll or impressions are you getting, what's the distribution mechanism for that, and then from a media perspective, we would weigh what that distribution um, and integration is valued at from either a CPM or a CPV perspective. The more interesting thing that I think has happened over the course of the last two years is that brands are helping to underwrite the production and the funding of these programs in exchange for some form of, of, of equity. Walmart underwrote the Bear Grylls Man vs. Wild show. Essentially how that deal worked is that they underwrote the production for it and then Walmart was able to get the DVD sales as well as sections of Bear Grylls' equipment and be able to promote that within retail. So that's an interesting sort of barter exchange that you can do as a brand, when you underwrite something, you get some sort of equitable portion of that. So it went from $730 million in digital advertising spend in 2008, fast forward to 2020, where it's about $42 billion. Over the course of the next three years, we're looking at probably close to a $60 billion marketplace. The digital new fronts has evolved a lot since 2008. Originally, I think it mirrored the TV upfronts probably until um, 2015 or, or 2016. So I think the New Fronts will continue to evolve. Five or six years ago, it was about the rise in, in mobile consumption and mobile content consumption. Now it's really about how in, in a world where not only is everyone disconnected and fragmented, but also you have the streaming wars going on, how can advertisers and marketers play a role in this? How do we get into these ad-less and ad-free environments in an authentic and integrated way? Publishers and studios that are doing brand content video well are the ones that are engaging their typical editorial departments and they are being infused into the advertising side to be able to give their editorial perspective to brands in a really authentic way. Just like Adweek and this video.